back to another video. My name is Stacy York, if you are new here. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana with my husband Brandon where I work in social media marketing. And today we are going to be doing an apartment tour. Yes, we've lived here for like nine months and I am finally doing this video. It has taken a while to kind of get everything set in our apartment and it, honestly, it's still not done. There's still some things that we want to do, which I will show you guys. I will do my best to have everything linked down below that I show you throughout this tour. Just to let you know, we live in a two bed, two bath apartment here in Indianapolis, Indiana. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go on a tour. Okay. So we are starting out right here at the front door, right here. So this area right here, I absolutely love the way this looks. This York sign we got as a present. This is from Amazon. We got this in our wedding registry. We do not have this bracketed into the wall. We could do that, but we just have command strips on it, which means this is literally all we can hang on it is keys and hats. If somebody puts a coat on it, it immediately falls. It has fallen many times in the middle of the night. So. Just know, if you get this, you will need to actually bracket it into the wall if you want to put coats on it. And then right here, we have just a coat closet. We have a lot of stuff in here. It is where we keep our bags for groceries. That's my purse in there. We have a broom and this amazing mop and a vacuum and all of our coats. And this also is where we store our air fryer and then there's just some additional bags up there. So. Good, nice little storage place to keep all of our coats and everything. So then coming right off of there, the little entryway is right over here. And then we come in to the kitchen here. Um, if you guys want like a really detailed kitchen tour where I kind of show you everything that we have and all of the kitchen equipment that we have and all of that sort of thing, let me know. I'll kind of just go over what's kind of on the counters and show you the pantry and whatnot in this video. Appliances in here are a little bit out of date, but like they totally do the job. So just kind of going over what we have out here. This is our spice rack. This is from Amazon. Also got it on our registry. And then this little knife set here, we also got off of Amazon on our registry. I absolutely love this knife set. It is super, super nice. This like the knives are all one solid piece which is why I really liked it and why I put it on our registry. That oil bottle, I'm pretty sure we got like at Meyer or something like that. Then we have our pantry. Honestly, it's really great for storage. Um, I don't really think we need anything larger than this. We have all of these storage containers just from Amazon and then just some other storage containers down there. It's pretty functional. I think it's fairly organized. I don't really know if we could do any more to organize it. And then we have this little command strip hook right here. Absolutely love having this. It's so nice to just have a place to grab those easily. And we also kind of have the same thing over here with our towels. Definitely command hooks are super great for hanging things in the kitchen. Then we just have our little Keurig set up here. Honestly, we haven't even really been using this this much. I don't even think we have coffee in here. Oh, look at that, we do. Um, yeah, we have like two pods. I'm pretty sure these are the only two pods we have in the entire house. But yeah, we don't use it that much. I don't drink coffee. Brandon hasn't been drinking coffee recently, so I mostly just use it for hot water for tea. It's there though, if we need it. Then we do have a dishwasher, which is amazing. I literally cannot imagine life without a dishwasher, so I'm so happy we have an apartment that has a dishwasher. We do also have this little conversion sign that we got for our wedding, so we just have that hanging up there. And then I did just want to also point out here, we have these three stools, which we picked up at like a local furniture store back where we're from. They're super nice. I'm super glad that we had these to kind of use this as a little eating area. And then we have this little candle that I got at Aldi. Honestly, don't sleep on Aldi candles. They're so nice and they're relatively inexpensive and they're at Aldi, so that's cool. This little napkins things we got as a present for our wedding. I'm pretty sure it's from Target though. It looks like the Magnolia collection, so I'm pretty sure that's where that is from. I really like having these just when guests come over, we can hand them a nice cloth napkin. Okay, so we have now moved into the living room. This is our little living room area. So you come off the kitchen and this is just open, which is very nice. I love having that open like concept Concept, so you can see into the kitchen from the living room. It just makes it feel a lot more spacious. This is our big old couch, the star of the show. Uh, this we got just from a local furniture store where we're from. I'm super glad that we invested in a nice couch because it definitely is kind of the centerpiece of the living room. We have two pillows on there which are both from Target. That blanket we got as a gift. I have no idea where it's from. 
And then we also have this really nice gallery wall up here, all of the picture frames and whatnot we just picked up at random stores. And then the clock up here that you can see, we got that um, off of Amazon, again, on our wedding registry. I love the fact that we printed out some of our wedding photos. It just makes it so nice in here and personalized and it makes me think of a happy day. Then we have the coffee table here. This was also off of Amazon. The baskets under here, which are absolutely amazing for storage. We have a bunch of random stuff in there. Those are from Meyer, And then I also have these books sitting here with a candle. These books are actually from the library. I really like getting like random, like decorative books like this and cookbooks just to have around and flip through. And then I don't have to pay for coffee table books. And then I just trade them out whenever I want. Definitely do that. I got that idea from Allison Bickerstaff. So can't take credit, but I'm very happy that I do that now. That candle's from Target. And then over here we have this ugly brown chair that we will definitely get rid of at some point but right now we just need extra seating and we haven't gotten another chair so there's our chair <laughs> it was a gift it was free so we weren't gonna pass up free and then back here behind the chair we have our shoe rack it's not the most nice looking thing in the world but it's very functional and it's nice just to have our shoes there and not strewn about the floor so there's that I almost completely forgot to mention this light that's over here, also from Amazon, also from our wedding registry. We just keep our remotes here and then we have our little Wi-Fi box there. And then I have just a coaster and this little plant that I picked up the other day from the Monon Plant Company. It's very cute. So over here on the other side, so the couch is over here and we're over here next to the TV now. We have these beautiful shelves that Brandon hung up for us. These are actually from Lowe's and they are bracketed into the wall, otherwise they definitely would have fallen off. No command strips used in the making of these shelves. Let me give you a tour of what's on them. Okay, starting at the top here, we have a picture frame, and then we have this little temperature thing that my friend Bianca got me like a million years ago, and I still somehow have it. But basically, it just tells the temperature, which, I don't know, it's kind of cool, and I'm honestly really surprised that I haven't broken it yet, because I've had it for such a long time. And then, this little guy is from Target. Came as just this black ball jar and then Brandon and his cousin Kaylee who put these together uh, just put the st stones in there. And then this obviously is from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection there. And that little plant is also from Target. There seems to be a theme here. And then we have this little globe also from Target. This is from Target. This is from Target. This used to be what my bamboo was in, and then I just threw a bunch of little plant starts in it, and they're growing. As you can see from this, that little leaf right there used to just be a vine with no leaves on it that I took a cutting of, and now it has a leaf. And then we have some wedding pictures here, and another fake plant, also from Target. This I got on Etsy by mistake. I ordered these prints for my sister, and they accidentally sent me two, so now I have some additional prints because I gave her the ones that were for her and then I just kept the other ones. This little thing is from Target and this is a little shell that Brandon has. So those are our little shelves. I really like the way these turned out. They just frame the TV well, which is right over here. So this is our little TV stand here. It actually is a fake little fireplace. We got this from Lowe's. We wanted one of these and we literally went all over town looking for one. And then we found it at Lowe's. This is a TV. It's Brandon's. I can't tell you anything about it because I don't know anything about TVs. Okay, and this honestly is probably my favorite part of the living room. We got this shelf from Ikea for $20, which is awesome. And then let me go over everything that's here. These are both from my friend Bianca, who I mentioned earlier. She actually made these for me and I have just kept them since college. I have a little diffuser back here that is from God knows where because I've had it for a really long time. Then this fake plant is from Walmart. This globe, we have two globes, which I love. I love globes, uh, is from Target. And then we have a candle, also from Aldi. And then we have this little thing of random storage things that includes a sock <laughs> that Brandon's friend left here. <laughs> So there's just a sock sitting there until his friend comes and picks that up again. And then we have another print that I got from the same place as the other one. And this is just a little propagation thing. And this vase actually was my great, great grandma's. So I somehow ended up with it and now I keep plants in it. And then moving down to the next shelf, this is a Lego set that Brandon put together and we just keep displayed here. 
And these are Harry Potter books that I wrapped in paper, just cause I don't know, it looks kind of cute. So that's what I did. This I won from when I worked in the national parks. It was like a contest and I won this, which is like one of the only things I've ever won. But it says the mountains are calling and I must go. I feel that sentiment. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> and then we have another fake plant here that might be from Target or Walmart. I'm honestly not sure. And then moving down to the next shelf, we have some more fake plants in a little glass jar back there. This whole thing is from Target. And I have some books here. That's a collection of David Thoreau books that I picked up at Half Price Books a really long time ago. And I just think they look pretty and also David Thoreau is cool, so. Harry Potter books and Lord of the Ring books because we are nerds. And then we have this little home thing that we got from Walmart. And then moving off to the side over here, this is supposed to be the dining room area of this apartment, as you can tell from this chandelier thing up here. But we just didn't feel like there was enough room to have a dining room table here. We had these bar stools already and there's a bar there. So we are thinking of putting a reading nook over here. So having a little chair right here and maybe a rug and a table and a lamp or something. So I just feel like that would be a better use of the space that wouldn't kind of get in the way of the hallway here. So that is our plan for this. But if we do that, I'm not really sure what to do with this area here because we're planning on getting rid of this chair, but I don't know if we want to get two chairs. Do you guys have any ideas on how to kind of finish off this space? Like whether we need like another like small couch thing or like a bigger chair? I don't really know, but this obviously needs something because it's super empty here. And I feel like if we get rid of this chair, it's going to be empty over there, but I don't know. If you have ideas, if you are skilled in interior design, let me know. Okay, we are now moving on into the bedroom, the master bedroom in here. So the kitchen is back here, living room is back here, and then we come into the master bedroom. Okay, so coming into the bedroom, we have our bed, obviously. All of this bedding is pretty much from Target. This blanket was a gift, so I'm not actually sure where it is from. And then our bedside tables here are from Amazon. I was just talking to Brandon about them and I do feel like they look very cluttered. So I feel like having something with drawers or something would be nicer, but these were inexpensive and off Amazon. So we'll take what we can get. And then these lamps here that we have on both sides of the bed are also from Amazon. And then we just have a picture of the opposite person so this is Brandon's side of the bed and he has a picture of me and this is my side of the bed and I have a picture of him I'll go over kind of what I have on my side of the bed I have obviously the picture and then I have this white noise machine that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond I love this white noise machine I know it makes me sound like a child but white noise machines game changer they help you sleep so well it doesn't matter how noisy it is it kind of drowns out the noise of everything and it just it's very nice then I have a little Pusheen stuffed animal that I think my friend Allie got that for me like a really long time ago and I still have it. And then obviously the lamp. Then we come down here and I just have a pile of books. This is where the crawdads sing. I got this from the library and I am done with it already. Very good book review coming soon. Then I have my journals. Yes, I have three of them. I like to journal. And then I just have my Kindle there. And then over here, we have this Ikea dresser that was very inexpensive. I think it was $100, so that's really good for a nice little dresser. And then we have this plant that I've had for a really long time. My mom gave this to me forever ago. This is where all my starts from this come from. And I just have a little yoga mat that is super old and I need to get rid of, but I'm attached to it. And then over on this side, we have a mirror. This is where I talk to you guys in the mornings every morning, so good morning. It's not morning. This mirror is from Meyer, I believe. I wanted a big stand-up mirror like this, and that's just where we happened to pick it up. And then we have this little thing that Brandon made me for, I think that was our one-year anniversary. So it's very cute. It shows where we met and the date that we started dating. Then we have this fan, love this fan. It was $100, which is a little excessive for a fan, but it's super good quality. It spins and swivels and it's quiet. It doesn't click. 
it's great. Then we just have our little laundry hampers here because it's just a convenient place to put them. Then moving into the bathroom. This is the master bathroom. We have this little shelf from Target with a little York sign on it. We got that for our wedding. And yeah, I just got some mirrors in here. We have some storage right here. Then you look over this way and we have a nice little storage thing with our towels and cleaning products, lots of toilet paper, all of that. Then you come into our little shower area. The shower curtain is from Target. I really like this one. It's like a cloth material. So it's just nice and gray. And then we come into our closet, which is actually big enough for us to store our bikes in, which is great because we wouldn't have storage for that anywhere else. Got all of Brandon's clothes, my clothes, storage up there. And that is everything in our master bedroom. So I'm gonna go over and head over to the other side of the apartment. Okay, so now we are coming off of the living room into this little hallway back here that has our laundry room, our second bathroom, and our second bedroom. So this is the laundry room right here. So in here, basic laundry room, we have our dryer, our washer, just some storage up here. We have like our tools and our Christmas tree all of our laundry stuff, and then we have all of our tools right here, kind of just strewn about on the water heater here. And then we also have my backpacking backpack here, cause it's like the only place it fits. And just a little laundry basket here, and that is kind of the setup in the laundry room. So then coming into our second bathroom here, we obviously have just kind of the same setup as in the other bathroom. Same thing with a nice little linen closet that we don't have very much in because we don't have enough linens to put in both bathrooms. And then we just have the shower curtain that I think we got that on Amazon. We had that in our first apartment. So we just brought that here with us. And then the same rug that is in the other room. Okay, so we are now in the office or the second bedroom. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos, you've probably seen my desk here where I film a lot of my videos but this is just kind of our office on this side and then we just have a spare bed over here just for guests coming in. We kind of set that up, this up as a little bit of a day bed so it's like long ways against the wall just because that works a little better. So let me give you the tour of this. So coming in right here, we just have this day bed. It's not the most attractive thing in the world but we threw some pillows on it and just kind of made it so that it is fairly functional for when guests come over but still it allows us to have desk space over here. Up on the wall here, we just have this York sign. I really, really, really love this York sign. This is actually a business that my, I guess, cousin-in-law owns. So I'll try to have that link down below. So if you're from the Northern Indiana area, you can go there. And then these pillows on our bed, we just have some pillowcases that we had like for a long time, I'm pretty sure. I think we got those for our wedding from my mother-in-law. And then these two pillows here that I think we also got for our wedding. I'm not sure who gave them to us or where they're from. And then this long pillow here is from Target. And then the comforter is, I believe, the same thing that came with the two pillows back there. So I'm not sure where they're from. And then over here under the window, we just have this cube that we had from our pre previous apartment and it's just nice for storage. I have a little stuffed animal that my friend Hanomi from college gave me and then this plant that I got at Meyer. Then we have this lamp back here. Not the most attractive thing in the world, but it works for the guest bedroom. I believe that is from Amazon, I'm fairly certain. And then we have Brandon's nice little gaming setup here. He has his PC that he built and then just the whole setup along with a box to put his feet on because that's comfortable for him. If you're interested, I believe we got the desk from Staples and I think Brandon also got this chair from Staples as well. He's had this for a long time though, so I don't know if you can still get that. And then we have my little desk here. I really would like to put something on the wall behind this, but I haven't got anything yet. So we just have this simple desk from Ikea that was only $50. And then this little chair as well that was also only $50. And then we have a little plant that Brandon got me for our anniversary a while ago. And then I just have that little lamp that is from Target. And then back here, last of all, we have a little junk closet. <laughs> And my ring light in here and we have an extra one of these stools that didn't fit out in the kitchen so we just keep that in here for no apparent reason 
Then we have Brandon's suit from our wedding and then my wedding dress is back there in a garbage bag. So, and there's some other stuff on the shelves up there. And that right there is our entire apartment. So hopefully you guys thought this was interesting. I know that I always like seeing where people live and how they decorate and just where they get all of the things that they have in their home and all of that because I'm really nosy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below the favorite, your favorite thing from our apartment or something that you would buy that I have linked down below. I would love to know what you guys liked from this little tour. And with that, if you guys are not subscribed and you made it all the way through this video, please make sure that you are subscribed. I'm trying to grow my little baby channel here, so definitely stick around and we can be friends. And make sure that you like this video and all of those wonderful things. And with that, I believe that I will see you guys in the next one.